Hi, this is Matt. If you've got five minutes, watch this video, improve your search results. Enough said. Here we go. You say you've been using SharePoint for a while, so you have lists full of items. In fact, you may have even gone so far as to create a content type for the items in your lists. But when you go to the search center, you're not satisfied with the results. In our case, we're searching for products or toys, and we're just not getting the kinds of results that we want. What about red? Red brings back a couple of red toys, but the results don't look very good either. So let's start by creating a targeted approach for finding that content with a result source. I'm simply going to create a query of our index that looks at content type equals product. We'll do that by selecting the content type property and setting it to the value of product. When we test the query, it works beautifully, but I'm going to add a little extra. This says if the search term is blank, then don't show any results. So then when we go to test, we put in a search term and we get our results. Now I need to apply that result source by creating a page. So we'll create a product results page, and then we'll edit the search results web part and tell it to only use the products result source. When we test it, we find what we're looking for. Now SharePoint doesn't add that to our search navigation automatically, so we go into search settings and we add that page to the search navigation. Once we have that set up, we can test it. The initial query takes us to the Everything tab. We can jump to the Products tab and see just products, but I don't really like the way they look. So let's jump into Design Manager and upload a new display template. Now it does take more than five minutes to create a display template, so we're going to just add one that we already had our developers build for us. Then to use it, we create a result type rule. The result type rule tells SharePoint when to apply our display template and to what kind of results. In this case, we're going to use a familiar condition. We're going to make sure that the content type equals product. Once we've done that, we choose the display template, which we just uploaded, our product item. Choose Save and retest the results. Look at how great those look. Now we're starting to get somewhere. I jump to the Products tab and I can see many more products and they're beautiful. But we definitely have to do something about this left navigation. Let's add some refiners based on the metadata that's on our product content type. So I've gone to the trouble already of grabbing the refinable properties from the metadata from our product list. So I have minimum age and maximum age. I have the color of the product and I have the product list price. So let's get rid of these out of the box refiners. Just focus on the ones that are associated with our product and then fix the display names. Set the display template. I like that slider with bar graph. Makes for kind of a cool experience for our end users. Each time we can set different custom thresholds so that the bars reflect the actual data that we're going to be working with. You'll notice that I even see sample values while I'm in the configuration page. So I can get an idea of what my searchers are going to see when they're in the search center. We'll choose OK. We'll check that page in. And now look at how great this page looks. I can set the list price. I can set the minimum age. I can choose the color and find exactly the toy I'm looking for. Most people would be happy with that, but I'm not, because when I search for red toy, I just get the one red stomper. But if I take off red and go to the products tab, I see a whole bunch of red toys. So let's fix that with a query rule. I know you're searching for a toy or a product. So let's create a new intent rule that looks for those key words. And if it finds them, it removes them and forces you to search down the product line. I'm going to add a result block and into this we're going to give it a name of product results and then we're going to create a query based on the products result source that we created so long ago. We test it with our subject terms. It returns our products. We change the settings so that I have a more link. The more link is going to use the original query and send them over to the products tab. I'm going to show the block above everything else. We'll choose OK 
and we'll give that a test. Red toy, I get toys. Click on show more, takes me to the products tab. That is an awesome search experience in under five minutes.